So in this short video, we're going to talk about retinal cells, beginning with the photoreceptors. So here the example of the photoreceptor we have in the picture is cones, which is sensitive to details and color. When the center of the photoreceptor is illuminated by light, the stimulus for the photoreceptors, the photoreceptor becomes, uh, becomes activated or stimulated by the light. That stimulation results in hyperpolarization. That's right, hyperpolarization. So at resting, when the photoreceptor is not stimulated by light, it's actually in a constant state of depolarization, meaning that in a rest, at resting, the cone or the photoreceptor is continually releasing glutamate. Now, when it comes activated by the uh, illumination of the light, that results into hyperpolarization of the photoreceptor, which means a decrease in the release of the neurotransmitter glutamate. Now, the effect of the glutamate on the next layer of cells, the bipolar cell, will depend whether the next bipolar cell is an on-center or an off-center bipolar cell. If it is an on-center bipolar cell, then glutamate will inhibit its activation, meaning it's going to make it less likely to fire an action potential. If the next cell is an off-center bipolar cell, then the glutamate will have an excitatory effect on it, meaning it's going to make the off-center bipolar cell more, more likely to fire action potentials. So let's go back to our example. You have the center illuminating the uh, photoreceptor as a result of this illumination um, uh, of the receptive field of the photoreceptor. It releases less glutamate. Beca because this glutamate typically has an inhibitory effect on the on-center bipolar cell, the decrease in its release results in an increase in depolarization for the on-center bipolar cell. Now, depolarization in the on-center bipolar cell will result into an increase in glutamate release. Now, the glutamate released here and its effect on the next cell layer, which is the ganglion cell, is always the same always excitatory, always leading to depolarization of the ganglion cell, regardless of whether this ganglion, next ganglion cell, is an on-center or an off-center ganglion cell. So here, this increased in depolarization of the on-center ganglion cell will lead to increased firing rate and action potentials. Okay, now let's take the other example with the off-center bipolar cell on the right side of, of the picture. The off-center bipolar cell is typically excited by glutamate. So when um, the center of a photoreceptor is illuminated by light, this illumination causes hyperpolarization, which means a decrease in the amount of glutamate released, which, is typically, uh, uh, which typically has an excitatory effect on the off-center bipolar cell. So this decrease in glutamate release is going to have, um, it's going to decrease or hyperpolarize the off-center bipolar cell, leading to a decrease in glutamate release from the off-center bipolar cell. Less glutamate on the next off-center ganglion cell will mean that the off-center ganglion cell will decrease its firing rate, leading into a reduction in the action potentials. Now, all the cells we talked about, except for the ganglion cell, are not capable of uh, producing or firing action potentials. They do graded potentials that scale up and down or are in proportion to the amount of glutamate released. The only one that's capable of action potential at the retinal level is the ganglion cell. And again, both the on-center ganglion cell and the off-center ganglion cell are both excited by glutamate meaning when glutamate is released or an increasing glutamate will um, result into an incre increased firing rates in both the on-center and the off-center cell. To review, the on-center bipolar cell and the off-center bipolar cell um, are both, synap are both um, have different effects uh, when it comes to the glutamate being released. The glutamate will have an inhibitory effect on the on-center bipolar cell and 
a excitatory effect on the off-center bipolar cell. So when the light is um, illuminating a photoreceptor that's typically releasing glutamate constantly, but as a result of the stimulation, it now becomes hyperpolarized and releases less glutamate. If the next cell is an on-center bipolar cell, this reduction in glutamate is going to lead to depolarization, which means more glutamate released on the next cell, which is an on-center ganglion cell that's excited by this glutamate, therefore depolarized, therefore increases its, increased, uh, increases its firing rate, rate, leading to more action potentials taken to the brain. Um, if this uh, reduction in glutamate is affecting or synapsing on the off-center bipolar cell, uh, because it's typically excited by glutamate, this will lead to hyperpolarization of the off-center bipolar cell, which means less glutamate is released onto the next cell, which is the off-center ganglion cell, therefore a decreased firing rate and less action potentials taken to the brain. Hopefully that helps.